Aisha narrated that she made a will to Abdullah bin Zubair, do not bury me with them, the Prophet peace be upon him and his two companions, but bury me with my companions, wives of the Prophet peace be upon him, in al baqi as I would not like to be looked upon as better than I really am, by being buried near the Prophet. Narrated by Amor bin Ma'iman al-Audi. I saw Umar bin al-Khattab, when he was stabbed, saying, O Abdullah bin Umar. Go to the mother of the believers Aisha and say, Umar bin al-Khattab sends his greetings to you, and request her to allow me to be buried with my companions. So, Ibn Umar conveyed the message to Aisha. She said, I had the idea of having this place for myself but today I prefer him, Umar, to myself, and allow him to be buried there. When Abdullah bin Umar returned, Umar asked him, What news do you have? He replied, O chief of the believers. She has allowed you to be buried there. On that Umar said, Nothing was more important to me than to be buried in that sacred place. So, when I expire, carry me there and pay my greetings to her, Aisha, and say, Umar bin al khattab asks permission, and if she gives permission, then bury me there and if she does not, then take me to the graveyard of the Muslims. I do not think any person has more right for the caliphate than those with whom Allah's messenger peace be upon him was always pleased till his death. And whoever is chosen by the people after me will be the caliph, and you people must listen to him and obey him, and then he mentioned the name of Uthman, Ali, Talha, Az-Zubair, Abdurrahman bin Auf and Sa'd bin Abi Waqtas. By this time a young man from Ansar came and said, O chief of the believers, be happy with Allah's glad tidings. The grade which you have in Islam is known to you, then you became the caliph and you ruled with justice and then you have been awarded martyrdom after all this Umar replied, O son of my brother. Would that all that privileges will counterbalance, my shortcomings, so that I neither lose nor gain anything. I recommend my successor to be good to the early emigrants and realize their rights and to protect their honor and sacred things. And I also recommend him to be good to the Ansar who before them, had homes in Medina and had adopted the faith. He should accept the good of the righteous among them and should excuse their wrongdoers. I recommend him to abide by the rules and regulations concerning the dhimmas, protectees, of Allah and his apostle, to fulfill their contracts completely and fight for them and not to tax, overburden, them beyond their capabilities. Narrated by Aisha The Prophet peace be upon him said, Don't abuse the dead, because they have reached the result of what they forwarded. Narrated by Ibn Abbas Abu Lahab, may Allah curse him, once said to the Prophet peace be upon him, perish you all the day. Then the divine inspiration came, perish the two hands of Abu Lahab. Surah 111 verse 1